I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jax, the top agency in Florida handling the coronavirus pandemic, said that people deemed extremely vulnerable to COVID-19 can get vaccinated at the four federal vaccination sites in the state, including the one here in Jacksonville at the Gateway Center. According to the Florida Division of Emergency Management, anyone considered extremely vulnerable needs their doctor to fill out and sign a form from the Florida Department of Health's website confirming their health status. You'll find a link to that on newsforjax.com. The CVS pharmacy chains vaccinating Florida teachers under the age of 50, circumventing state orders that continue to limit coronavirus inoculations to those over that age. CVS said it is following Biden administration guidelines released this week, which are broader for educators than Florida's. No stores in the Jacksonville area involved just yet. The closest is in Palm Coast. More Georgians will be able to receive the COVID-19 vaccine starting Monday, including all teachers and school staff members and people who work in child care centers. New vaccination guidelines signed by Governor Kemp will also provide shots to adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities and parents of children with complex medical conditions. Starting next Tuesday, the people living in a homeless camp downtown will no longer be allowed to stay there. Workers were digging holes to build a fence. City of Jacksonville told News for Jacks. Those who live at the camp are encouraged to go to existing homeless shelters now and won't be able to stay at the site nicknamed Tent City after next Tuesday. And if you've been to the gas pump, you've probably noticed prices are way up. AAA forecast March could be the most expensive month at the pumps this year, predicting the national gas price average to hit at least 280 before the end of the month. News continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.